Hi, welcome to the Go Chaos Gamer channel where we read two chapters of the King James Version Bible per day until we're through. This journey was started on January 1st, 2022 as a way to connect with my great Aunt Ruth who lives up in Canada. So thank you for being here at this channel. Please subscribe so that you can get your daily two chapters of the King James Version Bible. And without further ado, let's get into the word. 2 Chronicles chapter 7. Now when Solomon had made an end of praying, the fire came down from heaven and consumed the burnt offering and the sacrifices, and the glory of the Lord filled the house. And the priests could not enter into the house of the Lord, because the glory of the Lord had filled the Lord's house. And when all the children of Israel saw how the fire came down and the glory of the Lord upon the house, they bowed themselves with their faces to the ground upon the pavement and worshipped and praised the Lord, saying, For he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Then the king and all the people offered sacrifices before the Lord, and King Solomon offered a sacrifice of twenty and two thousand oxen and an hundred and twenty thousand sheep. So the king and all the people dedicated the house of God. And the priests waited on their offices, the Levites also, with instruments of music of the Lord, which David the king had made to praise the Lord, because his mercy endureth forever. When David praised by their ministry, and the priests sounded trumpets before them, and all Israel stood. Moreover, Solomon hallowed the middle of the court that was before the house of the Lord, for there he offered burnt offerings and the fat of the peace offerings, because the brazen altar which Solomon had made was not able to receive the burnt offerings and the meat offerings and the fat. Also, at the same time, Solomon kept the feast seven days, and all Israel with him, a very great congregation, from the entering in of Hamath unto the river of Egypt. And in the eighth day they made a solemn assembly, for they kept the dedication of the altar seven days and the feast seven days. And on the three and twentieth day of the seventh month he sent the people away into their tents, glad and merry in the heart, for the goodness that the Lord had shewed unto David and to Solomon and to Israel his people. Thus Solomon finished the house of the Lord and the king's house and all that came into Solomon's heart to make in the house of the Lord and in his own house he prosperously effected. And the Lord appeared to Solomon by night and said unto him, I have heard thy prayer and have chosen this place to myself for an house of sacrifice. If I shut up heaven that there be no rain or if I command the locusts to devour the land or if I send pestilence among my people. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Now mine eyes shall be open and mine ears attent unto the prayer that is made in this place. For now have I chosen and sanctified this house that my name may be there forever and mine eyes and mine heart shall be there perpetually. And as for thee, if thou wilt walk before me as David thy father walked, and do according to all that I have commanded thee, and shalt observe my statutes and my judgments, then I will establish the throne of thy kingdom according as I have covenanted with David thy father, saying, There shall not fail thee a man to be ruler in Israel. But if ye turn away and forsake my statuses and my commandments which I have set before you, and shall go and serve other gods and worship them, then will I pluck them up by the roots out of my land which I have given them. And this house which I have sanctified for my name will I cast out of my sight, and will make it to be a proverb and a byword among all nations. And this house which is high shall be an astonishment to every one that passeth by it, so that he shall say, Why hath the Lord done thus unto this land and unto this house? And it shall be answered, because they forsook the Lord God of their fathers, which brought them forth out of the land of Egypt, and laid hold on other gods, and worshipped them, and served them. Therefore hath he brought all this evil upon them. Chapter 8 
And it came to pass at the end of twenty years, wherein Solomon had built the house of the Lord and his own house, that the cities which Huram had restored to Solomon, Solomon built them and caused the children of Israel to dwell there. And Solomon went to Hamath Zobah and prevailed against it. And he built Tadmor in the wilderness and all the Stoar cities, which he built in Hamath. Also he built Beth Horon the upper and Beth Horon the nether, fenced cities with walls, gates, and bars. And Baalath and all the store cities that Solomon had and all the chariot cities and the cities of the horsemen and all that Solomon desired to build in Jerusalem and in Lebanon and throughout all the land of his dominion. As for all the people that were left of the Hittites and the Amorites and the Pez Perizzites, and the Hevites, and the Jebusites, which were not of Israel, but of their children who were left after them in the land whom the children of Israel consumed not, them did Solomon make to pay tribute until this day. But of the children of Israel did Solomon make no servants for his work, but they were men of war and chief of his captains, and captains of his chariots and horsemen. And these were the chief of King Solomon's officers, even two hundred and fifty that bear rule over the people. And Solomon brought up the daughter of Pharaoh out of the city of David unto the house that he had built for her. For he said, My wife shall not dwell in the house of King David of Israel, because the places are holy, whereunto the ark of the Lord hath come. Then Solomon offered burnt offerings unto the Lord on the altar of the Lord, which he had built before the porch. Even after a certain rate, every day offering according to the commandment of Moses on the Sabbath and on the new moons and on the solemn feasts, three times in the year, even in the Feast of Unleavened Bread and in the Feast of Weeks and in the Feast of Tabernacles. And he appointed, according to the order of David his father, the courses of the priests to their service, and the Levites to their charges to praise and minister before the priests, as the duty of every day required, the porters also by their courses at every gate, for so had David the man of God commanded. And they departed not from the commandment of the king unto the priests and Levites concerning any matter, or concerning the treasures. Now all the work of Solomon was prepared unto the day of the foundation of the house of the Lord, and until it was finished. So the house of the Lord was perfected. Then went Solomon to ezion Geber and to Eloth at the seaside in the land of Edom. And Huram sent him by the hands of his servants ships, and servants that had knowledge of the sea, and they went with the servants of Solomon to Ophir, and took thence four hundred and fifty talents of gold, and brought them to King Solomon. And that brings us to the end of today's reading. Did anything special stand out to you? Is God working in your life? I would really love it if you left a comment and let me know how God is working or how the Word um, has affected you and your life today. Thank you for being here. And a special hello and goodbye to my Aunt Ruth, who's up in Canada, and to everyone else. Just thanks again for being here. You can find me, uh, other things that I do, art, projects, all that sort of stuff at gochaosgamer.com. Otherwise, be blessed. I'll see you in the next video.